Yeah, we caused those British to become exposed, vulnerable. We panicked them into narrow gorges where we could slaughter them single file. Uh, so hunched over the um, trapdoor hookah chamber, Sphinx coughs <laughs> while smoking. <coughs> Uh, he clutches his, his caftan and he struggles to rip it off. Turquoise. So he's like a madman trying to escape a straitjacket. Uh, he panics. He, he throws open the, the trap door, stumbles past Ollie into the street, and uh, falls into a, an irrigation ditch, a small creek, beautiful, clean fresh running creek. He falls right into it. Oh, there's there. Oh, there's Aladdin washing up dishes and teapots in the creek. Yeah. He shakes his head at the Egyptian. Sad, but diplomatically. He says nothing about his incapacitated situation. But, you know, really, Sphinx can't stop coughing. Uh, tears leak down his reddened face. Uh, he's losing it. Uh, concerned, the dogfighters swoop down out of the tea house. They swoop down <laughs> to save the dying hippie. Uh, Balram grabs his ankles. Jamshid grabs his, uh, his wrists, and they carry him uh, into the tea house, past the interior, and there's a sort of a most interior room, they put them on a, they don't want to embarrass them. I mean, there's other Afghanis uh, uh, having breakfast there. Um, that's when Ma Mahmoud begins to massage his feet in an ancient Zoroastrian manner. I mean, he was born in bulk, okay? Uh, 628 B.C., yeah, this secret physical therapy technique to get people from coughing to death. 628 B.C. Hey, that's uh, just two years before Sappho was born on Lesbian Island in 630 B.C. Oh, yeah, in that century, I mean, the, the, the Oracle of Delphi, the Elysian Mysteries, they were just like sizzling with... Uh, with showmanship and prophecy, and uh, then, uh, well, the Buddha, Gautama Buddha, meditating under the Bodhi tree in Benares, uh, right around that time. Um, I have no idea how any of this is related. Do you? Uh, yeah. I feel like an Alzheimer's basket case, you know? Uh, who forgot where he's going with this? Why was in the fucking room in the first place? Uh, good thing I am doing these videos now. Mm. Notice I get the names of my characters mixed up. I just did it, huh? I called Aladdin piece, Ollie. You know, and I invented these folks in the first place. Uh, focus. I'm looking for a segue, and I'm desperate. Uh, oh, oh, the an an ancient foot rubbing technique. Ha, 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 a medieval remedy. Okay, uh, bring back things to normal breathing. Huh? In antiquity, the natives of bulk, they ran foot massage revival tents outside of town because the Silk Road camel drivers didn't know when to put the hookah down. Omar Sharif put down an empty glass. Ho, ho, ho. Put down an empty hookah. Well, I mean, what am I trying to say? Balkistani hashish is serious shit. Well, okay. Jamrud, Baran, Mahmud, Aladdin. They're relieved by the, the, the sink starts to mumble about uh, mandrake roots from the Oracle of Delphi, psychedelic cognac from the 
Nile River Valley. Well, anyway, whatever. I mean, he's talking. And now, uh, time is up. Uh, okay. He's reviving. The dogfighters themselves go down. They haven't even had a hit on the hookah. You know, swing for such a drama crane after his first pop. Okay, they go down. They want to test it. Okay, the latest hashish, hand pressed by Sphinx. And that's when Sphinx hears a gentle laughter as if coming from a distant paradise. Oh. Well, time is up. John Sheath throws a bucket of cold water over Sphinx. Hello, wake up. We have something to tell you. Oh. Your hand rubbed. Hashish. Exquisite, my friend. Fit for the assassins of Ashishan of Altamont. Crusader Slayer. <laughs> You are now initiated as a master of Balkistani hand pressing. <laughs> well, oh, 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 I mean, Sphinx is like, yeah, oh, you're so relieved. He's not coughing. And um, Baram, Jamshid, Aladdin, Mahmud. Come close. Look at me. And they all stare at him curiously. And, uh, but Sphinx pauses, huh? He's terrified and ecstatic before he exposes to them a new world of naked revelation. The pure staff. Um, because in a moment, it's going to turn them on. This will cause them either to just pull out their handguns and kill them. Boom, 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 boom. Or he'll become their saint. Oh, showtime. Uh, in her pocket within his caftan, Sphinx, theatrically with Dawes. A hefty magazine, yeah. Oh, yeah, left behind in hippie at Peace Alley's, huh? The November 1967 issue. Playboy magazine. He randomly opens it up. Oops. The centerfold plops down. She's a redhead. All over.